Hello. Welcome back. It's so good to see you. So today we're going to be looking at some items that I picked up from Walmart. And as usual, it is going to be very random. <laughs> some of it is snacks, and some of it is just some things that I needed. And some is household items. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I have to show you is very loud and very crinkly. So just know that. But it's actually new and I'm very interested in this item. This is called Ruffles Ridge Twists, and this is double cheddar. Now, I don't generally eat chips, especially ruffles, um, so I actually picked this up for the kiddos, but you know I'm going to have to try, I'm going to have to try because I don't know if you have seen Fritos has something similar. They're, I think they're called Fritos Twists and they look very similar to this but they're made out of the same material. It's like the corn chip that Fritos are made out of. So I'm thinking that these are going to be made out of the same potato it's like this crispy air potato thing. I don't know. Ruffles are quite interesting, I think. Um, but I think that these twists might be made out of the same thing. Because it says ridge twists. And ruffles have ridges. That's their slogan. So, anyway, I saw this and I immediately grabbed it because I figured that the kids would really enjoy it. And I actually got it too. So let me go ahead and show you the other flavor. Hopefully Ava doesn't think that she's getting a treat. The second flavor that it came in was smoky BBQ or barbecue. Now, I guess Ruffles is the official sponsor of the WNBA because this one has a basketball player on it. I don't know anything about the NBA or the WNBA but it looks like she's on the Aces team I don't know anyway so yeah I thought that the kids would enjoy this as well um we'll see if they do I'm sure you'll see me haul it again I just thought it would be very interesting to try you know how I like new items. Okay, I'm gonna try and not knock things over. We'll see how that goes. Okay, the next thing that I got... I am very excited about this. This is an Airwick. Forest leaves and spices. These are those little plug-in air things, you know. Um, now, I actually have four in the house, but they did not have them in the two packs. I normally buy two two packs. They did not have that. 
all of their seasonal scents. We're only in the five pack. So I'm thinking I'm going to need to get another little plug-in thing and put it somewhere. Maybe the kids' bathroom upstairs? I don't know. But this one is fall leaves and spices. And it does. It doesn't really smell spicy. That's Maybe it's like a background, I don't know, scent, note, whatever you want to call that. But it almost smells like bonfire. Like they do have another scent that I think is like warm bonfire or something like that. It smells very similar to that, but there's almost like... I don't know, not cinnamon. And I heard that this is anise or something like that. Um, maybe it's the mixture of those two, but it's very subtle. It's like barely even there. Um, but it just, when you smell it, it, it smells like fall. Like they really got the scent down. I don't know, it's really quite nice. Um, so, I'm excited to put this up in the house, so, and it's limited edition, so, maybe they'll get it next year, maybe they won't. I guess it just depends on how well it sells. Now, this is a treat for Ava. <laughs> she will get this when the video's over. These are absolute favorite treats and I actually really like them because they're they I guess they're like healthy for her um, because they clean her teeth freshen her breath and it also reduces tartar and black now these are called brushies they're by whimsies a natural dental chew and it says that they last three times longer um, than a regular chew, and I would have to agree with that statement. She will be chewing on this for almost an hour or more, and she's really going at it. <laughs> but I've noticed that there's a new design. They've always had this tooth design at the top, but it was the same color as the actual chew. But now, the tooth almost looks white. I guess they enhanced it to, I don't know, show the tooth off more. Now these um, are actually quite healthy, and there are no dyes, which is good. So this is naturally colored. It says medium for dogs 25 to 40 pounds, and Ava is nowhere near that. But they don't sell them in large or small at my store. They only sell them in medium, and she's just fine with that. And also, for Ava, I had to pick up her favorite, favorite meals. And they only come in three flavors. I wish they made more. Sorry. These are her absolute favorite. And I don't give this to her all the time. So I usually only pick up three at a time. These are Caesar. I think they used to be called Little Caesar because they're for smaller dogs, but I guess they got rid of the little. Am I thinking about something else? I know that there's a pizza company called like Little Caesars, but I thought these used to be called like Little Caesar. But maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, 
She absolutely loves these, and you would think that she would get tired, tired of them. She does not. She knows as soon as I rip this cardboard, she's like, oh, yes. And she's just attacking me. Like, what am I going to do? Drop the bowl so that she can get it faster? <laughs> I don't know. But it comes in with chicken, apple, and sweet potato. Chicken, carrots, barley, and green beans. And beef chicken and carrots and purple potatoes she loves these so much it does come with another one um, but it's just plain chicken that's it it's just chicken and nothing else but I like her to get her vegetables as well so she's asleep right now or she would be attacking me for these bowls because she knows she knows what they are Yeah, I also got something else that smells really good. This is for Breeze Air, which I really like. But this is a value pack, so you get two. And you actually save, like, I don't know, 50 cents by buying the value pack. Then buying two separate um, and I always usually buy two anyway, so I always look for the value pack. But this is limited edition winter spruce. Now, I generally don't like the smell of natural Christmas trees. Um, I guess maybe it's pine or I guess spruce, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they, they're starting to get their winter scents out at the store. And I smelled this. I was assuming that it was going to smell like, you know, natural tree or something. And it has a hint of that. But it also smells just like Christmas. I, I don't know. It, there's no other way to describe it except Christmas. It smells like Christmas. Um, it does have a tree scent to it, but it's not as strong as I thought it was going to be. And as soon as I smelled it, I was just like, yes, this is going to be great. <laughs> Especially around Christmas time. So, I'm very excited to use this. If you hear little sounds, one... Eva's moving around, but two, I'm hungry, <laughs> and my stomach is growling. I always eat after I record. So, sorry if you can hear that. And I'm really excited about this next item. So this is Great Value, which is a Walmart brand, but it is a Halloween-themed kit. It's a jack-o'-lantern chocolate cookie kit. Oh my gosh. So I got this for me and the kids to make. I can guarantee you, it will not turn out looking like this. But I'll probably take a picture and post it on Instagram whenever we do it. Um, yeah, we'll probably do it in the middle of the month, maybe closer to Halloween. But I wanted to get it early because once people see these kids, they're going to be gone. <laughs> they're going to be gone. Um, but yeah, I think the kit includes everything. It includes the chocolate cookie mix, the orange icing pouch, two-sided jack-o'-lantern. Let's see, two-sided jack-o'-lantern and cookie cutter. Okay, yeah. So one cookie cutter will cut out the eyes and, you know, the mouth. And then the other one will just cut out the solid pumpkin. 
and then there's a piping bag. So I guess you put the icing pouch in the piping bag? I don't know. I don't know why you would do that. Why wouldn't you just cut a little bitty corner and then just squeeze it in? Because it's not like... It has to be precise, you know? Hopefully they turn out good. They look delicious. Um, so... It always sucks though when we make something like this because it's chocolate and Ava can't have it. Um, but it's just super cute, right? I couldn't pass it up. And my kids are gonna love it. Okay, the next thing that we have is the best pickle in the world. This is Del Dixie. And these, um, I think are only made, yeah, they're made in Texas. I'm sure you can get them in other places, but when I lived in Georgia, they did not sell them, um, which was very disappointing, especially when you're pregnant and you want pickles and they don't have the pickles that you want. <laughs> um, but these are fresh pack hamburger slices, and these are the thicker slices. They do make really thin ones, but I like the thicker ones. Um, yeah, and these are better than the classic, and the, I think it's like Mount Olive or something like that. These are way better than any other pickle in existence. Um, but yeah, we are going to be having subs, and we all like a lot of pickles on our subs, so I had to pick that up. like, well, my son likes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, so I picked up Peter Pan Creamy. Now, they do have the crunchy kind, but my son doesn't really like that. My husband does, but my son is like, no, so I'd rather keep my son happy than my husband, because my husband, he likes the creamy as well. Um, but yeah, I just needed to pick this up because we were about to run out and that would not be a good thing in this house. Running out of peanut butter? Oh no. Let's see, what else do we have? Okay, so I am going to be making some ravioli and um, I'm going to be making a homemade sauce and the sauce requires basil leaves, just the seasoning, so I had to pick some of these up, and I normally get, like, the Walmart brand or, like, the organic kind, but all of the seasonings and spices, everything was gone, so I got McCormick, and McCormick is really good, too. Um, so, yeah. I had to pick up some of this, and then another seasoning that was required in the recipe was ground mustard. I've never used ground. That's my stomach, if you can hear it. Oh, I'm hungry. Okay, let me hurry up and finish this so I can go eat something. But yeah, I've never used ground mustard before. Never. So... I don't know what type. Is that gonna make the sauce mustardy? Like, is that what ground mustard is? It's from the mustard seeds or something? Does it even say? Like, it says add the tangy flavor, sharp aroma, and zesty heat of our ground mustard to burgers, roast sauces, and marinades. I've never had to use this for anything. Hopefully, hopefully it makes the food taste good. I don't know. And then I had to pick up some, I guess this is a vitamin or a supplement. Um, this is an adult probiotic. Ooh, it's vegetarian. I didn't even notice that. Good. Um, but I, I subscribe to this channel and I cannot think of the name of it, 
but it's an MS channel. It's Dr. I can't even think of his name. Uh, oh, it's going to drive me crazy. I don't know. But um, he is like this famous MS doctor, and he started this new MS clinic, I think in Utah or Nevada, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, um, but he's really good. Like, I have learned so much from him than any MS doctor that I've gone to. And he said that there are four supplements that you should be taking if you have MS. And I'm taking three of them. It's the vitamin B12, vitamin D, and hmm, multivitamin and something else. I don't know. But I'm taking all of that. But he said you should also take a probiotic um, because it helps with your digestive system because a lot of people with MS have digestion issues, but it also helps if you have uh, gallbladder issues, which I do. So I'm like, yes, this can only, you know, help. So I picked up some of these and um, I really like the Spring Valley and I don't like taking pills. I absolutely hate it. Um, so I got the adult gummy, um, which I'm very glad about because pills are the absolute worst. Okay, and then I got a snack for the kiddos. I actually got two of these. Um, one of them is strawberry, and this one is frosted blueberry. I already had the strawberry, but I opened the box and gave some to the kids. Um, but yeah, these are Pop-Tart Bites, and each box comes with five pouches. I get this, I got this last week for the kids for their in-school snack, and they really liked it, so I went ahead and got it again, but I saw the blueberry. They really liked the strawberry. So I got this. These are just little bitty, like, miniature Pop-Tarts. But they kind of remind me of, like, Fig Newtons. You know, they're, like, much smaller than Fig Newtons. But the way that they look, they look like frosted Fig Newtons, don't they? I don't know. I don't really like... Them. I've tried. I've tried it. I don't like it. But the kids like it. So I went ahead and picked this up. I like to change up their in school snack. So they don't have the same snack every time, but they specifically ask. They were like, Mom, get more of those little mini Pop Tarts. So I got that for them. And the last thing that I got is quite crinkly. So I'm going to try and be careful. And it's something that I've hauled before. Oh my goodness. This is my son's favorite sweet candy. Like I generally have to stock up on these so that he can have it. Because um, they, they last for quite a long time. Like they don't expire for a long, long time. Um, but they are only around during Halloween and, you know, the fall time. And my son likes these pretty much all year. I get enough to last probably until, like, February. Um, but he absolutely loves these. They are his favorite. My husband hates them. My daughter hates them. I actually think they're good. I mean, I'm not going to sit there and eat a whole handful, but my son could eat the entire bag. <laughs> Will I let him? No. <laughs> um, I remember when I was a kid, they had candy corn like this, but then they also had candy corn at Christmas, and this was like red, green, and white, or green, red, and white, I can't remember. Um, and so every year, I look for those Christmas candy corns, but they don't ever have them. What happened to them? Does 
anybody else remember the Christmas candy corn? I don't know. Maybe it's just me and I'm making it up, but I don't think so. I know I've seen it. So yeah, I had to pick up this classic candy corn for my son. He likes all of them. He likes the pumpkins. My daughter likes the pumpkins. Um, but these are his absolute Anyway, so that is all of the random things that I had to pick up at the store. I really hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and 